guys, welcome to Champanzy Percussion. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to keep up to date on any new videos I will be posting. Today we're going to be reviewing three different drum pads. The Sollers Green Percussion Pad, the one I have right here. We're going to be reviewing a Zymox pad. And the last one I have is the Vader pad. Now each one of these pads does have their pros and cons. So if you're looking to buy one of these three pads, this is the perfect video for you. Now before we get to the playing side, I do want to talk about each one of these pads. The first pad we're going to talk about is the Green Solars Percussion Pad. This pad is a one-sided pad. It has a green rubber and it has a black foam pad in the back. Now this back surface on this pad is not meant to be played on, but in fact it's supposed to be a cushion for when you place this on a hard surface. So the only playable side is this green section. The next pad we're going to talk about is your Zymox pad. I've had this pad since 2016. It has a little bit of wear and tear, and as you can tell, I went ahead and I colored the edges as well. Now, the last pad that we're going to be talking about is the Vader pad. Now, Vader does make this pad in a 14 and an 8 inch size. One of the things I love about this pad is that it's double sided. As you can tell, there's a black rubber, which is the harder rubber, and then a softer rubber, which is the red rubber. Now, let's get to the playing section of this video. We're going to try each one of these pads with a concert pair of sticks and a marching set of sticks. For the concert section, the exercises we're going to use are eights, some rolls, chicken in a roll, and flam tap. Next, we will be reviewing all four pads using marching drumsticks as well as using the traditional marching grip. The exercises we will be using are eights with triplets, double beat, flam accent, and an excerpt from Virtual Drum and Bugle Corps.
cool things about this pad is that it has the beads inside of it. Now these beads are supposed to make the snare sound like a snare drum. Let's hear it out. Some of y'all might be able to hear the sound of the snare, but some of y'all might not. If I'm being honest, whenever you play on this pad, it almost sounds like you're playing on top of a table. I do like this pad. The only downside to this pad is that it is really loud. And so whenever I'm practicing at night, this is probably not my ideal pad to practice with. One of the things about this Green Solar's pad is that this pad almost feels like if it was right in between the red and the black side version of the Vader pad. My favorite side on this pad is the red rubber, just because it bounces a little bit more. This is a little bit more sturdier and it makes you try a little bit harder. In a way, this might be the side that you might want to be practicing with because it will build your chops. But overall, both of these sides are pretty similar and it's not very different. The red side is a little bit quieter and the black side is a little bit louder, so keep that in mind. Now, I love the Vader pad and I love the Green Solid Percussion pad. If I had to pick between one of them, it would be this one. Just because you have the right hardness of this pad. It won't be too loud, it won't be too soft, it will be where you need it. It will build your chops, but it will also bounce just a little bit. But the best way to know if this pad is right for you is just to try it out. Well, that's all I have for today. If you have a preference on which one of these pads you like better, please comment below. Or if you have another pad that you like, also comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to keep up to date on any new videos I will be posting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to have fun.